We're playing as Castile. No, I did not click on the wrong Iberian nation. This is the one that I want to play. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Unsubbed, unfollowed. Oh no. Time to do my opener. I've been thinking about this opener a bit. You know, I haven't been doing my openers properly. There's this thing that I knew how to do for a long time, but I'd never do it. But you know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna slack in immediately like that. Wait, France made me their rival. <sighs> but why? Okay, and then we're not gonna do our diet yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna. Like that. Then we're gonna hit this button. Come on, give me the right one. Yes, manpower at least 50%. Good. We're gonna hit this. And we're gonna wait until the month, I mean the day tick, because then we're gonna get this, uh, because we have 50% of our manpower, uh, which is gonna give us a uh, army organizer level three. Hit this button once here, and then hit this. We're also going to remove mill focus. All right, we're good to go. We are ready. Let's begin our conquests of Iberia. I have no idea why it's broken up. Well, I don't know the main reason, but what I'm guessing is so Spain can just conquest early game, doesn't have to wait for the Iberian wedding, which is a bit RNG in the early game. France can attack Aragon early game and steal uh, the Pyrenees. And to form Spain militarily, we need uh, Aragon, Valencia, and Catalonia, but they can also be our vassals. So I think what we're also going to do is make two vassals. This league starts independent and is also a player slot. Here's the player map mode, but we're still pretty strong. Like, we should be able to if 1v1 Morocco. We made him our vassal and we still have the historic friend bonus. And But when we form Spain, we lose this historic friend bonus. This is something to keep in mind. I got a zero mil guy. Wait, you got a zero mil? Oh yeah. my god, you got a zero mil king. I Got news that Morocco needs a sub in an hour. That's so unlucky. You said one hour, huh? Yeah, and in one hour they're gonna. It's okay. You, 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 it's fine. You'll be fine. You won't need Evelyn. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Habibi? What does that mean? You won't need a sub. What the Morocco player might need, though, is a VPN from today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. If you are anything like me and spend many hours playing EU4 multiplayer, you might need protection. And definitely not this kind of protection. You play EU4, that protects you enough from needing that. Since EU4 and other Paradox games use peer-to-peer -peer for multiplayer, anyone in the lobby can grab your IP address. Once they get your IP address, they can use that to dox you or overload your router with a DDoS attack. With Atlas VPN, you can mask your real IP address and hide it from any potential harm. It's just as simple as hitting a button. You can also use Atlas VPN to get access to content that is exclusive to certain countries or areas. Surpassing streaming platform geo restrictions is as easy as picking the country and connecting, then refreshing the streaming platform of your choice. You can get access to this VPN service using my special link for $1.99 a month down below. Now let's get back to the EU4. Alright, we're gonna now form Spain militarily because we did the we did the Jesuits everywhere. And just to show you guys, so we're gonna get this. Form Spain. Yes, please. So like now we have the Tercios, which are basically like Janissaries, but they have 10 uh, infantry combat ability. We also have a unique government type, but um, we lost uh, the holy orders, but it's fine. We still have the bonus, as you can see right here. We still have the Jesuits, so that's why we did that everywhere. So the orders stay. The previous orders we did stayed. And then not only that, we can now start exploring. We can do higher foreign explorer. Get them and start exploring. For some navy tradition. The time to fight Morocco was coming close. In this scenario, Morocco is the scaler while we are the ones that need to kill the Morocco or fight the Morocco before he outscales us. Morocco has access to West Africa as well as North Africa while we are stuck in Iberia with France to our north. We popped our mission for claims and we declared war. We caught his trade fleet off guard and we were able to cross with ease. 
We prepared for this war by building a couple heavies, a bunch of galleys, and a flagship. The first battle took place on Tangiers, where I had 4.3 morale to his 3.8 morale. We did have also another advantage in quality as well as in general. After Tangiers is Fez, a mountain. Here's where things got a lot trickier and where Morocco started getting even more troops over his force limit. We were pushed back out of Morocco and back into Iberia, but since we still had naval dominance, we were able to re-engage once we were ready. In retrospect, this war would have been easier as well if we popped our golden age, but I wanted to save it. Fez was always very hard to take, obviously since it was mountains, and once again we failed to take Fez. Oh my god, I actually have to win this naval battle. We have a heavies advantage. Maybe the heavies will hold. I think the heavies are gonna hold. He has no more heavies left in the battle. We got this, boys. Come on. So close. Hold. That's it. He doesn't have any more heavies left. We've on Morocco left. Morocco's corruption. He did take a sh ton of loans, dude. Jesus Christ, man. Believers, MBW. We had won, but at what cost? We were 7k in debt, overextended with high war exhaustion, behind in military ideas, and literally zero manpower. We also had been told by Burgundy that if we went bankrupt, France would attack us immediately. That meant that we had to outscale our debt if we wanted to survive in this game. We're now building some churches while also paying off our debt. We're right now making a crap ton of money. We won't pay off the 1% loans. Down to 6.6k in debt. Honestly, we didn't end up with that much debt. We were lucky that we got the striking gold event on the gold mine in Tafalat. And that was only because Portugal forgot to take the gold mine down in Congo. But at this point, our income was around 70. We were stabilizing really well, and I was making about 40 ducats a month, meaning that we were actually recovering from our debt in a very fast pace. After the war, we also reduced autonomy in every single one of our provinces, which was very big. The colonization begins. At this stage of the game, we didn't even have the institution yet, so we weren't even in the top HGPs. However, if we did have the institution, we would be somewhere around 4th to 5th in terms of our great power score. France looked especially scary, but you have to remember as long as we had Navarra and we were able to react, we always had at least 2-3 to three mountain forts to hold back France. So you, we had the defender's advantage against France. As soon as the truces were up, we declared war on Seuss, 
Morocco and Tunis, eating up more land in North Africa. Great company. The great company in three states. This state, this state, and this state. Rest were full coring. The world seemed to start to stabilize at this point in the game. We had four potential enemies in this campaign. We had England, who was contesting us in Mexico. There was Sokoto, who was directly on our Moroccan border, as well as Sicily, who was taking in North Africa. And of course, France, who we had an alliance with at this point, but it's more of like a, I won't attack you, you won't attack me type of alliance. But we didn't want to fight anyone right now. We were about to majorly scale our nation, specifically by developing our lands. We had popped Golden Era, we popped a decision for uh, power cost, and we also had burger loyalty as well as a mission that gives us 10 development cost. With all of the dev cost reduction we were stacking, we were actually about to be able to dev for relatively cheap without having any uh, dev cost and ideas. Keep in mind the mod removes economic dev cost as well as quantity and economic policy. We're about to do a very, 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 very huge dev cycle, okay? I know you're trying to just help me out or whatever, but... Um, almost again. My Portugal's adding, like, nothing to Sevilla, dude. Unfortunately. Wait for it, wait for it. Alright, so here's what we do. We click this button, and then, boom, immediately force urbanize. Lower autonomy. Just waiting for this culture conversion to finish. All right, it's done. Let's go. Actually higher dev than France and Ottomans. Jeez! After all of that, look at our beautiful, beautiful income. Really though, one thing I have to say um, to all of the people, to all the people that said last session that I was going to bankrupt from fighting Morocco, uh, your mom's a hoe. Smile. That's it for this video guys, uh, of course that's not it for this campaign, actually this campaign is still going on live, which you can watch on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Habibi on Wednesdays, this game is being played on Wednesdays at 1pm Eastern Standard Time, put that in Google, figure out what it is in your time, come watch live, it is a different vibe, should tell you that, but you will still have a very good time, I promise you that. With England, Sokoto, Sicily, and France, all vouching to try to kill us this is definitely going to be a very high intense high octane campaign and you definitely don't want to miss it out and if you don't want to watch me on twitch just wait for the next youtube video it will be out probably in a week or two and once again thank you atlas vpn for sponsoring this video you guys can get atlas vpn for one dollar and 99 cents a month using the link down below also in the description as well as the pinned comment Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!